guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to do another fall look so this is what we have today and the palette that I used is one that I grabbed during my latest shop my stash it is my Pat McGrath midnight Sun I don't really play with my Pat McGrath palettes as much as I should considering how expensive they are okay <laughs> they're more like you know art pieces for me but i decided to go ahead and play with this one today and this is the look that i have um you guys know pat mcgrath has amazing formulation in her palettes and i just kind of want to play around and get more familiar with them and just see how i really feel about them i did do this whole you know look using my shop my stash items so yeah i just wanted to play around with this this is what the Midnight Sun palette looks like. Of course, there are some of her specialty shades in here and then regular shades, mattes, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'll go ahead and just do some quick swatches of this palette and then we can jump into this look. <laughs> so these are all the swatches for this palette you guys and i have to say with this particular palette of pat mcgrath's i am not all that impressed i mean it's a gorgeous palette it creates a gorgeous eye look but for the price uh, i don't know i'm just not that impressed with how this particular palette swatches now some of her other palettes they just swatch really beautifully to me but this one eh. <laughs> So, yeah, I have on clothes today. <laughs> so, yes, I'm creating this look today. If you'd like to see how I did all of this, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys. So, as usual, I'm starting out by prepping my lids with my P. Louise base. And I'm just using a brush to spread that all over my lid. So the first shade I'm going into is Taboo. And this is basically a shade that's kind of like my skin tone, just to kind of set that eyeshadow primer in place. Next, I'm going into this beautiful kind of red brown type shade called Vermilion Venom. Very, very pretty shade. I'm just using a medium sized blending brush to concentrate that in my crease. Next, I'm going into the darkest shade in the palette, which is called Extreme Dusk. Very, very pretty dark shade. Perfect for smoking out looks. But I'm just concentrating that on the inner and outer corners, as you can see, just to kind of frame up this eye look for the halo eye that I'm going to try to create. <laughs> and I'm just kind of perfecting that blend. Now for the lid, I went into the beautiful green shimmer shade called Wicked Envy. I didn't even spray my brush or anything. I just kind of went in with a flat eyeshadow brush and tapped that on the center portion of my lid and gently blended it into, you know, the corners, I guess. Now I wanted an extra bit of pop, so I'm going in with Bronze Eclipse. And I'm just taking my finger and tapping just a little bit of that gold shimmer shade on top of that green. Now for my eyeliner today, I'm just doing a simple black wing using my Wet n Wild Black Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Now for my face, I'm using this Farsali. It's the Skin Tune Blur Primer. I really like this primer, you guys. It feels really, really good. I really like how it kind of just set down a nice base for my foundation. Really, really like it. For foundation, I'm trying out this NARS Soft Matte Foundation for the first time. This one is in the shade Macau. As you can see, it is a little light for me, <laughs> but you know, I don't really trip off of that if it's close because I can always make my face match my body. So I'm just going in and trying out this foundation for the first time. I actually really, really like the finish. I really do. It's a nice, smooth, just natural kind of finish. It has some great coverage. I was feeling it. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I really, really like it um, for my first impression. I'm going to keep using it since it's part of my shop, my stash. But yeah, very, very nice. So this is what it looks like. You can look at the finish. I know the shade is off, but at least you can see the coverage and how it looks on my skin. So for concealer, I'm using this concealer from the Lip Bar. I just bought this recently and wanted to try it out. I have the shade 4 cinnamon and it's a decent concealer i don't feel like for me it provides enough coverage quite honestly as you can see i went in with um a couple of layers and just blended it out with my sponge like i normally do and like i said it's a decent coverage if you don't need to cover up dark circles and stuff like i do but for me Eh, yeah I need a little bit more coverage so I went ahead and just applied it to my other eye as well so that I can you know make both sides of my face match but I decided to go in with my Juvia's I am magic concealer you guys know this is my favorite it never does me wrong and it always gives me the coverage that I need so <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going in and adding a little bit of my Juvia's so you can see the difference. Definitely more coverage, even blending it out with a sponge. It is just a really, really nice shade for me. Love the coverage, love the tone. Now, I wanted to go in with a little bit of cream contour. This is one of the Fenty Cream Bronzers in the shade Chocolate. But because the shade is so kind of like deep and cool toned a bit, I like to use it as a cream contour sometimes. So that's what I'm doing since my foundation is a little too light. I'm just working in layers to kind of, you know, bring it to the correct shade. So just using my sponge to blend that out. Now to set this concealer, I'm going in with my DJ's Boutique uh, Loose Setting Powder. And you guys know this stuff is the bomb. I use the shade Honey and i love this stuff you guys definitely need to try it out as you know there is a link for dj's unique boutique where you can save 10 percent look at that <laughs> down in the description box so to set the rest of my face i'm trying out this full spectrum cover girl this is a matte ambition all day powder foundation now i really like this it's very nice it adds a little extra bit of coverage is very smooth and it um sets my foundation nicely now i'm trying out this i love revolution coffee bronzer in the shade mocha i love the packaging for it's really really cute but i think it's a very nice bronzer you guys tell me what you think i'm using this um you know just to kind of help out bring that foundation to the right shade i like it i think it looks really nice so for blush today i'm using this moira fiery love blush it's like a duo has kind of like you know a purpley shade and a red tone shade so i'm going in with the red tone shade today since i have that kind of brown red shade in my crease on my eyes and just gently, you know, placing some of that and buffing it out on my cheeks. Nice soft blush. Next, I'm going into my Melt. This is one of their, what are they calling it? The Digital Duo, but it's called a blush. Honey, this is a highlighter. <laughs> so I'm going into the shade Queen and I'm just gently placing some of that you know on the areas that i want to highlight i feel like using the brush is definitely a very soft highlight there isn't anything really blinding about this highlight to me i like it i think it's nice and subtle not too much now because i put all that powder on my face i do want to kind of set it you know kind of help bring a little more moisture back into my face so i'm using my milani rose water but for my lower lash line let's go in with some black pencil eyeliner and I'm just using the same colors same shadows that I put on the upper portion of my lid on my lower lash line just to smoke it out a bit so I'm going back into extreme dusk that really dark shade and then I'm also going into vermilion venom that beautiful kind of bricky brown just to help smoke it out now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into the shade Skin Show Moon Glow. Nice, beautiful, bright, kind of 
I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it looks gold, but not really in the pan. So, but it's a really pretty inner corner pop. Using my pure mascara, this is the fully charged mascara on my lashes and for my lips. I'm using my DJ's Unique Boutique Holiday Collection Lip Kit in the shade The Gingerbread Man. So I'm using the liner, beautiful deep brown kind of chocolatey shade. I'm going in with the lipstick. I love this lipstick, you guys. <laughs> I can't stop using it. I know you guys are sick of seeing it, but honey, I love it. And I'm topping it off with the lip gloss from the same kit. So this is the Gingerbread Man kit, and I'm using everything from this kit for my lips today. And I absolutely love it. Very, very nice, very comfortable. So this is the look today, you guys, using this Pat McGrath Midnight Sun eyeshadow palette, along with some of the items from my Shop My Stash. So far, I'm really enjoying everything. Um, the concealer wasn't my favorite, as you saw, but I really, really like, for the most part, the items that I have. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to create this look, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles! Mom, mom, mom,